One of my favorite quotes about nostalgia comes from an obscure American journalist named Doug Larson, who, and I'm not making this up, worked for the Door County Advocate and the Green Bay Press Gazette. Anyways, Larson wrote that nostalgia is the file that removes the rough edges from our good memories. I'll go even further. I think that nostalgia is like cheerleaders and football captains, a love that is best left unrequited. That's because cars, like the 300 ZX twin turbo we have here, often don't stand the test of time. I mean, I was just getting started in this car testing thing when the 300 ZX was new. I, hardly immune to those wistful remembrances, remember it as hot, the fastest of the new crop of hot rods coming out of Japan. More importantly, how does it feel today? Why not too shabby at all? This is the 1996 version of the twin turbo 3 liter V6 and its 300 horsepower still feels pretty darn vigilant. Zero to 100 still takes less than six seconds and there's easily 250 kilometers an hour on hand if you get a road long and straight enough. Oh, the brakes are absolute crap. I remember them as simply bad and even that smacks of sentimentality. And the adjustable suspension has but two settings, firm and rock crushing, but it still handles a treat and feels like a real sports car should. And will you look at this interior? Simple and straightforward, there's no Bluetooth technology to be found, not a touch screen in sight. All the controls are readily at hand. Cruise control right there, air conditioning right here, immediately available to me, much easier than reaching over to a touch screen in the center binnacle. Even today I couldn't ask for more. Such simplicity and singular focus lost in all the gadgetry that is the modern automobile. Perhaps then, at least in this case, Nostalgia is simply the realization that we haven't come nearly as far as we think we have. I'm David Booth for driving.ca.